Hello folks and welcome to Vlashish. This is by Celebuki. It is 809.53 megabytes to download. And first of all, before we get into you know how I do my map tours and that, this is an absolute stunning map. This is based in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And yeah, this is a real life place and it's based in the Vlashish mountain in the very heart of Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that right, so do apologise if I uh, mispronounce anything. But yeah, this is by Celebuki, so out of the back you know this is going to be an absolute stunger and banger of a map. I had, oh boy, it is. I've had a little bit of a play around in that, make sure there's no game crash issues in that, and safe to say there is no game crashes in that, so yeah, I played for about, what, half an hour or so, you know, just going around the map, you know, just doing things in that, make sure, even for me, on last gen, on the PlayStation 4 Pro, Make sure there's no like, game crashes in that, because I know some people can be a bit whiny about that, which is a fair thing to complain at, but touch with that, half an hour playtime, and I've had no game crashes in that. But anyway, without further ado, before we get into more of the map tour, let's go over to the description, shall we? And it goes as following. Welcome to Vlashish map. This map based on a real place that lies in the plateau of Vlashish mountain in the very heart of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The terrain is quite hilly with beautiful landscapes which is abundant of forest and mountain streams. The most represented branches of agriculture in these parts of the country are animal husbandry and forestry. Although fans of grass missions and forestry will enjoy the map, there will be enough work for those who like productions and arable farming. We'll get onto that in a bit. Almost all the buildings on the map are custom made, which gives the map another touch of authenticity, but some were also added for better gameplay. On this map, you'll find the following. There are five pre-placed farms, which we'll have a look at. The main one that belongs to you at the start, and four that included one located in the forest as a forestry farm. And in order to use it, you need to buy the land first, which makes sense. The main farm will have all the vehicles and equipment, cow barns and two fields. Along with a chicken cube, and this is on a new farmer mode. Along with this, there are 63 farmlands, 44 fields from small to big, the main fields are grass missions, 3 forestry sites, the BJ that will not produce electricity but will produce methane that you're able to collect using the custom methane tanker that we'll have a look at in a bit. And with that, you can take, take, collect, and sell to a local gas station where a methane cell point is placed. There's also traffic, pedestrians, Boston Union registration plates, custom crop candor, productions available on the map are as following carpentry, sawmill, dairy, local water mill that would take your corn as well as your sorry, corn to produce corn flour, rye to produce rye flour, germ to produce durm flour, the bakery that has 3D products which is rye bread, cornbread, sweet cornbread, pumpkin pie, and pasta. Pistol greenhouses with new fruits, plum, pear, apple, and pumpkins. Very signature by Celebuki there. Also, there is two liquid traders for the methane, which I just mentioned. And also in missing categories, yeah, you can transport the yeah, missing categories that in the store net. Along with this, there is a new f new juice factory that will produce plum juice, pear juice, and apple juice. That will need a minor correction because it says apple as an A P L B, so minor typo. Not getting over <laughs> overworked up on that. Cell stations are the green cell point. So the green cell point, I'll go over this all in a bit. It's for your main greens. Restaurant will take your production goods, methane cell point, and bell cell point. In addition to the map, as we mentioned, there are two new custom crop types, which is rye and drum wheat. Along with this, there is a change in weather conditions, so winters will be with a lot of snow, so Celebuki's signature deep snow. Absolutely beautiful, but pain has to fucking play with. <laughs> yeah, trying to farm that in deep snow by Celebuki, on Celebuki's map is interesting, to say the least, in that. Along with that, there is place for fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, line by, line by point, and also there are decorations where you can find several placeable decorative objects as well as two decorative fences. So, before we go over anything, slot counts to that on Farm Manager it is 1283, on New Farmer at Start from Scratch it is 1091, but you can remove 101 slots. So, for New Farmer and Start from Scratch, that goes down to 990. For Farm Manager, that goes down to 1182. And all I did was go and sell all the custom farms that. So you've got a farm down here. So what I'm going to do is not going to purchase anything yet, but there's one farm down here. There's also another farmhouse in that just up here by the 
sawmill net. So we've got farmhouse over here. Along that there is another one I think over here net. And the fourth well fifth one is I think it's that one here net, but actually the fifth one is just here it is, so that's that one there is one I would personally go with that because it is quite a nice farm area, but yeah, I'll go over everything whilst we tour the map, so I'll go over all the farms in detail once we get to those sections. But yeah, so custom crops that there is no requiring mods. And yeah, something that you're thinking, oh, you shouldn't have to celebrate about, but as there's three other maps I'm going to be looking at today or tomorrow, not whenever I get around to losing that, because I'm going to do the mod review later on as well. I thought, do the map tour first of all, now, especially on this one, because this is going to be a very popular map. But yeah, those three maps, I'm pretty sure all of them do require mods now, which I absolutely hate. Also, there is contracts on the map, so if we have a look at our contracts. So yeah, I've got a couple already just pre-selected. But as you can see, there are plenty of work to do, so... Yep, a lot of these are going to be like grass fields and that, as grass missions, so... If you're doing silage, you feel like you get silage and that, so... Yeah, that one is hay. These two are hay and silage, but you can play around with the contract system, you know, except the except then obviously quit the contract, save the game. I oh, no, don't save the game. Save the game before you do it, accept the contract. If it's not the one you want, just accept it and then yeah, cancel the contract and then load the, reload the game and touch words you may get a different option or you may lose contract altogether. That's what I'll use sometimes on my maps and that. But yeah, so Signature Deep Snow, already mentioned. But yeah, the grain cell point is going to be the cell point for your grains and that. So, if it goes into our prices and that. So, next see, most of our grains are going to go to the cell point. There is the water mill. That is the cell point if you didn't purchase it. If you do purchase it, that's going to be obviously your flower production. But apart from that, it's going to be the restaurant's going to be your main cell point for your productions and things like your grapes, olives, and that, the oils, and that, like your sunflower oil, etc. Eggs will go to the bakery as a production or sell as a sell point net. Wool will go to the bell sell point along with sugar beet cuts, and that can also go to BJ. Sugar beet itself goes to the green sell point, but yeah, so sell points for sugar cane, no sell point for seeds. Well, as it means sugar cane that, yep, yeah, say what you want maybe about that, but there is mods on the mod hub. The one I recommend is the Sell Every Container by Schultz Modding. Because yeah, that was except everything on the map and that. But yeah, methane, going methane sell point, which is worth doing. Very consistent pricing. Also wood chips, is that worth absolute a ton or not? Because some maps wood chips may be a bit valuable, other times they may be not too much. Well, I should have factor in summer and that, so it's not the most expensive. But yes, it's pretty standard. Well, actually, yeah, it is a fair price on that for the wood chips and that. But yeah, restaurant is going to be your main sell point for a lot of your items, as you can see here in that. But yeah, things like the bakery and dairy, there are productions, so... Let's say if you got all the productions, you still have the restaurant and the grain cell point to fall back upon. But yeah, so with this map, you can start in Civilization, as you can see here. Or you can start in the forestry area, which we'll have a look in a bit. But yeah, so I did mention the cell points and that, so let's go over the PDA before we go over, you know, the new farm modal stuff and that. So looking at the PDA, beautiful day that map. So I can see the south section is going to be mainly your crops now. There is two canoe fields up here. And I think these can be crops now if they want to be in that. But as you can see there is a lot of big old grass fields in that and they are quite hefty in that so but also you do have small ones. Also you got custom no sorry not custom purchasable forestry areas and every bit of the map can be purchased. So got two sections down here and then you got four sections over here. And if you do have the farm area up here, you do have access to the forestry area up there on the northwest corner of the map. But yeah, so here we are, right bang in the middle. That's going to be your main farm. So you do start off with on plots 49, 59, and 43. So you do have 
two wheat fields I'm taking. Yeah, there's, there are two wheat fields. And field prices in that overall, actually, they are quite reasonably priced. So, 197 grand, 121 grand. So, yeah, these are very affordable in that. Not the cheapest, but compared to most maps in that, these are very reasonable in that. Especially, like, the farmhouse areas in that. 22 grand for that one. For the main farm over here, that is 96 grand. The forestry one is 43 grand. So yeah, I'm going to do is purchase those. So that's one, two, one up here. And I think the other one is, so you got one, two, three, four, and five. So that is this one here, I think. Yeah, so yeah, all number have different bits. So you got chicken coop and cow barn. This one here, you got chicken coop and a sheep barn. And then you got your forestry area over there, which is farmhouse. And then, yeah, forestry set areas in that farmhouse. And then that has the swimming on that. So you can really start off over here. And, you know, just get cracking on with the logging in that. So at the end of the day, it's down to you, that. But yeah, so you got your main town down here. So you've got your, your dealership in that, fuel station, methane cell point. Then you got your dairy. Restaurant and your bakery there. Got your carpentry. And then moving down, got your green cell point down here. So all of them are located on the main road. So do you go out into the boonies, you know, to, you know, be a bit awkward in that. Saw me on that, that can obviously take your number in that. So that's up on the hillside, so. But yeah, overall, beautiful map. But yeah, you got your water mill up here. Your bell cell point is up there in the north. So, yeah, that is your PDA. Now let's go over your new equipment you saw on farm. New farmer mode. So on new farm mode, as I mentioned, slot count is 1,283. Can go down to 1,182 if you get rid of all the farmer houses and that, and sheds all that on the other fields and that. But at the end of the day, it's down to you. With 2,600 slots, I don't see the need for it, but at the end of the day, that's just my personal preference. But anyway, so on small tractors, you've got the Class Aaron 660 and the Fent Favorite 515C. On the medium tractors, you've got the Massey Ferguson MF 3670. For your harvesters, you've got the New Holland CH770 that comes with the 8.5 meter header and a header trailer. Got a class trader, a Lemkin cultivator, along with a Coon Power Harrow that has the Venta 4030 cedar net. For your planters, you got the Lemkin ones there, planters. Also, you got a pretty small but simple herbicide or liquid fertilizer sprayer with the additional tank on the front. Also, you do have a solid fertilizer sprayer. We didn't have one for lime, but you can purchase one if you want. And then that's so you got the two weight 750 kilograms. So yeah, overall not too bad. But yeah, so that is that. So here we are on new farm mode. So yeah, got your along with your sea tank and your planter net. So that's gonna be a farmhouse net. So wardrobe is just over here. Sleeping point is just over here. Moving across, you got sheds. So that's where your tractor is gonna be. Cow barn and your chicken coop is just over here. And yeah, got some nice little decorations. Decent side of that. And yeah, that is, I think, that is a custom one, ain't it? I think, by the looks of it. So, we'll have a look at the build mode that in a bit. So, yeah, Serbu, he's um, chicken, chicken coop can hold 500 chickens. The cow barn can hold 150. But yeah, so you also do have some like decorations now, you know, your gazebos and that, swings and that, and slides. Then just moving across. This is where your main tractor is going to be too. All lovely jubby, all nice and neatly placed, all ready to go. Yeah, I thought that was going to be like a workshop trigger there, but. Oh, 
Oh yeah, shed light snaps. Lovely jubbly. And then, yep, moving on to the cow bar. Ooh, that is a nice animation sound. Dollar box, it's just here. 150 cows you can hold. And then, yep, yeah, they'll walk if you want to walk around this way. But yeah, that's going to be your, I think, sorry, cell point, or not cell point, sorry, collection. And I think you're, actually, that could be your milk. Have a look around this other side, so. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case of one of the other is going to be from your net. No, sorry, sorry, and then the other one's going to be from milk. You could put down a your heap net if you want, because there is plenty of space to place down, so. Ignore this section over here. I'll just need to get the greenhouse so I can have the 200 mil in the bank account just in case I want to purchase anything, you know. Because I think we will be purchasing the productions and that and have a little look at that. But anyway, so I'm hopping to the cloth, so we're going to drive around the map. So I'm going to go down south and then work my way back up north and that. So. I am going to have the PDA open at the bottom left. I am going to do this outside the cab so you can all see this vastly beautiful map because it's an absolute stunner. So, also, I have got to mention collectibles in that there is none by the looks of it. So, I should have gone over that earlier, but apparently, never. And also, I'm just going to do so before we really drive around the map because I've technically forgot this. Um, tweaking things as I go along so you do have a lot of items under build mode and that so under sheds you do have custom sheds so some of these we've already seen and other ones we'll see as we go around the map silos same thing so got your massive farm silo that holds two million liters or the one that we got on the main farm 400,000 liters and then you got another one that will hold 500,000 liters under the containers now, you've got your lime station, fertilizer station, herbicide, and your fertilizer buy points. Under tools, there is nothing. Farmhouse, you got your custom farmhouses, so we've got this one here. And we'll see these other three as we go around the map, I think. Under productions and that, so you do have your juice factory, which is a Sebuki thing. Your carpentry. Which is actually very nice, actually, looking at that. 60 grand as well, so not too bad. Then you got your bakery and your dairy. And also, just a think you heard custom sirens in that as well, I think I just heard. So, nice little feature. Under greenhouses, so we got your greenhouse fruit. So, let's go and place that down. And do you have any orchards? No. Any generators? No. So yeah, before we get along with anything else, we'll just have a little quick look. So, looks like a normal greenhouse. And if we have a look, that's going to take water and manure. After that, you get your pear, plums, apples and pumpkins. Then going across to your animals, so you've got your custom cow barn, which we just looked at. Holds 150. Compared to base game, that is a way better deal than that. Horse pens, no. Pigs, no. Sheep, yes. Chicken coops, have a look. So yeah, these ones are very like, I think these are ones by Sibuki that are individual mods and that. So, 500 chickens a piece and that. Absolute stunning. Nothing under there. Decorations under fences. You do have custom fences, so. Got some fences here. Got a gate. Okay, again, more fences. Again, these are all different styles, and we'll see these as we go around the map. Apart from that, under lights, there is nothing. Under others, there is a lot of items. So, you got your fire, like fire deco net for your farm. So, yeah, all these are classified as farm decos, but you know, you can use these as you know, a bit of story storytelling or a bit of role playing. Or again, just touch up the map here and there, you know. Just little things like this, just adds a bit of character to the map it does, personally. Yeah, another fire, firewood deco net, old sheds. 
and then we go under landscaping, under painting. You got all, yeah, all these stuff. So, got your animal mud, concrete, gravel, concrete again. Just yeah, all the ones you see by said booking out on any of his other maps and that. Absolute stunner and that. So trees. I don't think there's any custom trees. Nope, plants. It's the same. So yeah, that is that. And now let's go on to drive around the map and exploring this vast, beautiful map. There we go. So yeah, just turn off the automatic engine and that. So as we go down here, you do have a grass area which you do own and that. So you can mow this, you know, get a bit of silage or hay and that's cracking underway. So I'm going to go down this path here. You can do which will lead you to your other fields and that, but for the map tour and that, we're going to be going to do that. And actually, before we do anything, let's have a look at this little stream and that. We're going to see more of this as we go around, but absolutely beautiful and that, you know. Again, little things like that I do love. The war features and that on maps and that. If they're done right, they're done properly, there's no weird glitches or whatever and that. They can work out. And as you can see, there is some um, beautiful, you know, just sceneries and that. And one thing I just forgot to mention, so what I'm going to do is pull over here. This may get edited out, so it's alright. Errors have been corrected in that, so jiggle things around in the edit in that, so. But yeah, you know what? Let's head up here first of all, Nat. And I do apologise if my voice sounds crocky, Nat, or groggy. Yeah, just recover my voice after losing my voice last week, so that explains why you're having any mod reviews or map tours and that, just because I absolutely lost my voice on. Well, lost my voice a bit on last Tuesday, Nat. I go to a concert and then went to another concert on Thursday to see a band called Battle Beats Live in my home city, and yeah. Long like that, and yeah, I ended up losing my voice. I did so. There's no way else could do mod reviews and map tours, so I may do little sections here and there and that because yeah, voice is a bit baby. So as we go around, see the, the map background as well. Have a look at that, sort of the one you see on basically maps. So again, 805 megabytes does justify because there is a lot of just custom features and that, things being well done and well made. And again, just how things being well made and how they're placed and that, as it says in the description, it brings the authenticity in that. I cannot say that word for saving my life in that, in the, um, what's it, earlier on the map tour, that's going to be what, four attempts to do in that, so. But, anywho, let's go around. We'll have a look at. I think down here is going to be the to the forestry area, so we'll have a look at that, and then we'll loop back around, go up, see the fruit farm, and then yeah, drive through forestry, see the fourth farm, and then yeah, go up to the wart mill, and then we'll finish off at eventually the fifth farm where the sawmill is. But just having a look now, that is absolute uh, beautiful, and that so. Yeah, sort of start seeing the forestry area, so let's pull over here and have a look at the forestry area. And again, so I'll just pull over, really sick signs that, signs for Chirby and Trafnik, or Trafnik, Leek, I'm not sure how I pronounce that again. I do apologise if I'm butchering any of the pronunciations, so we'll turn left here because that is the map border. Uh, yeah, so it's sort of extend out a little bit. Yeah, we won't be able to see much, but plenty of trees get along with that. So, again, you can start off in civilization, or you know, just come up here to the woodlands with a truck and tr truck and trader, or just a truck itself. And yeah, you can just crack on and do what needs to get done. So, pull on over here. So, you can't enter the wood cabin. Turn the helmet back on, so yeah, seat trigger in that. Got your shed in that, your deco logs over there, so they can be sold like so. Just gonna show it for this one. 
but I won't show it for the other farms and that, so yeah, that's how you get the salt camps down, just sell these little bits here and there. Back into the cloths, get rid of that help menu, and then yeah, we get cracking along. But yeah, seriously, like, I'm thinking, because yeah, I've been in the longing, once I get around to completing my let's play and that, I've been thinking of what final map to play on for you no, know, for a quick let's play now, just go all out on one let's play now, and I may even do some overlap into FS25 if there's enough interest. Or at least I'll have a quick ending to it, but I've been seeing the maps by KA77E. But then again, I knew Sir Buki was working on this, so I'm thinking for my final let's play, I'm going to be playing on this map. Even though I have played on so many of Sir Buki's map, things like Rainport, his remake of that for the base game map on FS19. And yeah, I played on some of his other maps like that, like Iowa Plains. And I'm trying to think of what else I've done, I can't remember on top of my head. I haven't done the map tour for um, the new forest map and that. I may redo that one and that because, yeah, it seems like a good map it does. But again, lost my voice last week, so hence why I didn't do the map tour. But, anyways, here we are at our third farm. So, yep, yeah, house is out, seat trigger and that. And yeah, so if you do sort on farm manager or sort from scratch, these all are all here and that to be purchased and that. So yeah, you can do purchase equipment, you know, just move up over here if you wish. Close that. And yeah, that's going to be your lights. And yeah, sheep farm will hold 300. You do have 350 once you purchase the farm in that, so... Just a little worth to note, so you do have... Get cracking on with business in that. I'm going over to the chicken coop and that, so you don't have chickens in here. But yeah, this very chicken coop I have used on many Let's Play series, including my comms, no, not comms, the fire court farm series. Come out of here, shut that up. But again, like, how every map has been done is absolute stunner in that, so again, I can't really fault Sebuki in that. I am trying to find a fault, because again, that's how I do my map tours now. If I find the fault, I will mention it, regardless of the modder or map or net. If it's Oxford David, a gym, or just a new map maker or net, or newish, or someone who is less reputable than that, compared to the other main seekers and that, or the other popular map makers and that, I will find a fault, or try to find faults, and I'll be. Honest, but constructive. If I find something I don't like in that or a bit off on the map, I'm gonna bash the map saying, oh, this map is shit, don't play on the map, I could be constructive. If I can, I'll reach out to the modern himself, that or the map maker, to give these feedback. Things like, again, that little Apple misspelling in the um, description. It's not gonna be an update. At the end of the day, it's not in the world, but I'm sure if there is a need for an update in that, then yeah, so as I just mentioned that there was a slight minor frame rate drop in that, so uh, yeah, I think just like back there through the logs and that. But again, I, I've had this with every forestry map now or every forestry section I've played on. Even like Silver on Forest now, there's minor stutteriness. Again, I'm on last gen console, so a little stuttering here and there, or a little not st no. I don't think it's stuttering, I think it's like just simple drop rate and frames and that, so I think it's what it is and that. I know what it is now, and that. I can't wait to get the PlayStation 5 at the end of the month. Yeah, maybe play on FS22 for what, 12 days and that, 11 days? Or 10 days by the time I get it, most likely in that. But then, yep, yeah, it's going to be FS25 next month. I'm actually looking forward to that. Definitely need to get some videos done on that. So I'm off work on Wednesday and Thursday, so I'm gonna be spending those days just churning out FS25 content, you no, know, or at least producing the videos and that. Also some let's plays and that because yeah, I've got two episodes of Frax Riches to do, and then yeah, um, yeah, these get cracking on my 10,000 cow challenge. Get that one wrapped up very quickly. 
But anyways, this is your fourth farm, so we have a look at the PDA. So we started off out here, came out here, went down, then you get sort of did a little cheeky loop in that. Looked around the third farm. See, so can purchase this area over here. Again, like have a look at that. Does a yeah, just a church in that, so can you remove the church? No, which I do not mind, because again, there's is a it's an aesthetic please in that. Please a piece in that, so things like that I do not mind. But again, if you do purchase that area for what? Four thousand, come on. Four thousand for that, and you got access to this. Forget about the trees and that and the wood chips and that. All that grass and that, you know, can again a bit of storytelling, a bit of role play if you want to that, you know. Moment the lawn that for the church and that. Again, still things like that, so what I'm gonna do is pull over here. Have a look at this farm quickly now. So I think this is gonna be the like, same one as the main farm, so you've got cow barn over here, and I'll go over the triggers and that. So yeah, got your logging decos and that, your sheds again, same as the main farm. Along with that, you got your chicken coop and that. I said a bookie thing. One of your other farmhouses again. Can't enter that, but again, things like that. I love to see that. I love to have that, but I know there's a lot of work involved in that, including the interiors and that. And yeah, so at the end of the day, it's not a real, a real downer in that hand. Yeah, things like the going inside and sleeping that. I don't know what. Maybe you're right for the first couple of times, but then doesn't say get boring, but it just comes a bit repetitive in there and things like that. Don't get boring, but you quickly go get over it very quickly. I'm trying to say that. But in here, so yeah, we're gonna go down and yeah, we'll go back onto the main road. We should go past the main farm we came from, sort of the map to that. And then yeah, I think we'll have a look at the war mill. Usually I'll do like snippets and that and a bit sort of journey in that, but this map here alone, absolute stunning. I'm just gonna take in all the views and that. And again, I'm gonna show you folks all the custom views and that because this is not just a generic uh what similar exterior and that. Oh, got the flags there of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Nice. Shane, they're not what, well, um, I'm trying to think of what's the word for it. A place board, or not a place board, a decoration for that and that, because that would be a good thing to have, I think, that. Again, I'm just thinking things of what potentially could be added in an update, but. Again, I'm not trying to find faults, I'm trying to find things I could potentially add on, maybe, in that. But yeah, sort of seeing that, what I mean by it's very hilly in the map, in the mod description, that. So, that's why you start off with some like, quite powerful big tractors and that for what equipment you're using. But yeah, there is a reason for that. So, anywho, here at the Bell Cell Point, I'm going to go across to the automobile, which is going to be your fire production. So, Bell Cell Point, and that is just over here. Got your animal deer and that. So, you got your cow barn, chicken coops, and all that. Lovely jubbly. So, yeah, that's going to be the edge of the map. Once again, really this exciting to Banka Luka, Katovalos, and Shkinder Vukov. I do not know why that last bit I try to pronounce it in what? Very Germanic? <laughs> Again, I do apologise on my mispronunciations and that. But, anywho, we'll have a quick loop down here. So, yeah, this is going to be where your water mill is, so this is where your rain mill not green yet, your green mill production essentially was going to be. Again, just simplistic and <laughs> gorgeous in that, so... So many potential opportunities for thumbnails in that, so... As you go up here in that, you'll offload here, so... Sell point in that if you do have this purchased. Or if you do have it purchased, that's where everything's going to loot. Your flower in going to come out of here. Purchase that, what, three grand? Not too bad, so... Yep, yeah, base game recipes and that. 
And yeah, you also got your germ flower and some rye flower. That's glory, that is absolute beautiful. Overall, I'm not too bad at that. Again, I'll try and look for false nets. Again, I may have mentioned though, know, things like a water mill, not have an actual spinning water mill. But yeah, that may be just one form of water mill. There may be something underneath, I don't know that, but. I know, no, sorry, it is over here, so. Correction on that, I do take it back. So yeah, you got the water that comes from all the way over here and that, so. You know, follow this along. Eventually, that will spit you out to here and that, so. You can't really see the entrance, I don't think. If I go down this way, Nat. Whee! Again, I'm going to try to find ways to break, break this, Nat, but. You sort of see it comes through somewhere upstream, Nat. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. So, yeah, because I'm here. Actually, something like this is a lot better now compared to like a massive water mill because a massive water mill will produce a lot of power potentially and requires a lot of force to get cracking on. But again, something like this, again, it depends on the water mill itself and that. I mean, not need all the power in the world and that. So, something like this, something very focused, something very consistent, that's what you need in a water mill and that. I'd love to see the water in come down here now and spin off. Maybe in that, but again, I am nitpicking here. I'm, I'm literally nitpicking at the smallest details here, so. Overall, bang off a water mill there, so do apologize on my very quick reaction that. Actually, you can purchase this air up here. Have you got his purchase? No, we haven't, so. Again, twig ground for that. No, can't remove those. I did have a little ground in that initially, and that's he figured out what I can sell. Extras and that. You can't sell the productions and that, which I make sense in that. Especially things like the water mill and that. That, that ain't a place for iron, so that is baked into the map, so you can't resell that. You know, get rid of it. At the end of the day, slot counts ain't going to be the biggest problem. So yeah, we we'll head back down, and then yeah, we we'll head into like the town area of the map, and that something a bit more civilized. As you know, I'm just smashing over the signs, and that apologies there, quick phone call, that so we're gonna head into the main town. That's leading to the Deshi, the De Key, and that I'm not sure how you pronounce that again. I do apologize on my mispronunciations, and that so. So yeah, well, what we've got over here, now, so we come down here. Got a carpentry net and a like a memorial error perhaps by the looks of it, so have a little look at that. I think I found the thumbnail net potentially net. Maybe something like that, I don't know. Thumbnails could be decided whilst I'm editing and uploading this, but nice little memorial piece in that. Or yeah, I think that's actually of the main town area. But yeah, as we head across, got your carpentry net. I love the sounds of it, and it costs some little bits to win that, to that on. 60 grand wood to get your furniture and that, or planks to get. Sorry, wood to get your furniture, or planks to get your furniture, I was trying to say. Whilst well, so I have a little hiccup at the same time. But things like that, you know, you got all your timber and that, you got your frames and that, beams. We've got some chairs and that, tables and that, all ready to go and that, you know, sort of simulate the carpentry business. That oh, I actually uh, do like indeed. But yeah, we'll head up here. I'm going to head up into the town now. See, so yeah, I think to the left we got, like, I think it's a school now, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's like a school by the looks of that. Not too sure. I'll have a little quick look at that again now because I again will set things up in that. But yeah, yeah this is school that. So you've got your sandbox and that, football pitch that, or soccer pitch if you're a yank. Joking, joking. Ooh, okay, so some minor 
Let's try again, like minor stutters and that, I think. Again, they're very minor in that, so again, I'm not complaining. No game crashes yet, touch wood. The match has been going on for what, half an hour or so, I think, by now? I have no idea of the concept of time that, so you can head across there, so that will lead you to all your fields and that. So yeah, plenty of pathways, plenty of paths to be AI worker friendly to get to every field you'll need to get to in that. But as we go along, so you've yeah, got your bakery in that, so have a quick look in that, so. So yeah, got your usual bread cakes in that. You also can make your sweet cornbread, apple pie, pumpkin pie, cornbread, pasta and rye bread. So yeah, rye bread is the same as um, just all the bread. Pasta, that requires... Uh, what's that? Have a look at the input. Uh, German flour, yeah, German flour makes sense for a German wheat for the uh, flour in that. Cornbread, and that requires a corn flour. And yeah, rye flour to get the obviously rye bread. Apple pie, very similar to cakes and that. Just switch out the strawberries for the apple. And that is actually worth better doing. So forget about cakes. Do apple pies. Get more of that per month than that. And then yeah, cornbread and that always requires a corn flour, a bit of butter, and a little bit of sugar. But as we head along, so we're going to take a left ear. So yeah, we get a left ear in that, so this will be your spawn point that down the road. And then, yeah, we'll loop back around and finish up north. So yeah, got your restaurant just there. Your dairy just here. So yeah, basic, yeah, basically recipes and that. But yeah, just the, again, custom assets and that. I'm not going to overlook these, I do apologize. So bookie if I'm overlooking these, but yeah, overall, absolutely lovely that. Very realistic that. Right? It does suit the area that. Again with the language that with the translations and that. Excuse me, sir. But yeah, got okay, another what church and that I think school or something of the sort. See, so yeah, I think that may be what, like the primary school and the one which is that it's like the secondary school. Well, yes, that's how I'll call it here in the UK. So yeah, over here, we think cell points. Got your fuel station just over here. And then yeah, over here, got your dealership and that, so... I'm assuming we can enter by the looks of it. Very empty, I'll admit, but again, a bit of role playing that, you know, you can... do a bit of multiplayer that, create a second farm in that, and have all the equipment for the dealership here. But yeah, workshop trigger is here, so very similar to like the No Man's Land one, I think. But yeah, just with the different like functions of the doors and that, different. I think yeah, a similar style, but again, it's custom assets. What's from to say there? You know, can't go to the office. Shame. But as you can see here, it's going to be your spawn point and your reset point. So a lot of space here. So let's see how much we can get here. So. Along with one tractor, how many of these can we fit down? So one, two, three. Along with one tractor, you can fit 17 of these. So, yeah, absolute plenty of space to spawn anything you want in that. But yeah, anyways, back into the tractor. So, I'll have a yeah, go up here because we do need to go across here because... There is the BJ down here. And then, yeah, I'll think I'll, after that, I'll sort of skip back to obviously the main road. And I go up to the final farm. So, get rid of that. But yeah, again, so far in that, absolute son of a map. Cannot fault it. And again, got your house in that for the people to live in that. So, it, yeah, it does feel like a very rural, which again, it is in that. There's peace in the mountain region that so of course it's gonna be a bit sparse and that bit ruin than that. So it's just like a little valley area now, I think. But yeah, like I like to look at the gates and that. Again, they've been well done and well placed. 
think, yeah, when we first saw the gates and that features that in what FS22 and how it been the development of that. When John saw the teasers of it, of the animals and that, it's like we saw these fences, I was like, wow, you can place fences on your own and that. I was like, a game changing feature that was, what, three years ago now? Three, four years ago? But yeah, so down this long road here. So yeah, some of the contract fills over here as I quickly accept them. Just sort of show some of the contracts and that. But yeah, it is quite a bit steep now in some areas, so you will need a powerful tractor because like, the ones we got is 200, I think, yeah, 205, 150, and 170 and that. So you will need a fair bit of horsepower in that and a bit of patience, I think so. Maybe, again, for what equipment you may be using, maybe around 300 horsepower mark, maybe a bit more well suited for you. But anyway, so we're at the BGA, so as you mentioned in the mod description, that there is no electricity being produced, but you can get the methane, so versus that, what, 300 grand again? That's an absolute bargain, that is, so. Solidage, sorry, when your ash can be cut, that will get your digestate, so if you have the, the Surrey Yard by Missy B, that is worth an absolute banger of amount. And methane, methane worth a lot of money on its own, that. So very good, and that assets that to have. Yeah, let me chop across there, but... Anywho, so can you sell this? So yeah, you can sell the building that for 150 grand. However, I'm pretty sure that cannot be repurchased, right? So yeah, so good luck with that. So yeah, just be a bit careful. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you can place your own BGs in that. So you've got space in that for the largest one. You have base game that, which is a 500 kilowatt one. Yeah, something like that would do. And that will do the electricity of that. Better throughput than that, I will admit. And yeah, I think as well, digestate is a bit more than that. By the end of the day, it's down to your individual preferences and that. That's just one section I thought worth mentioning. Looks like something was meant to be there, I think, or is that just like a turn in there, I think that could be in that. But anyways, let's head back to the main road. So alright, we just came back onto the main road now, so yeah, Russia on that is behind us. And yeah, to wrap up the map tour, we head to the fifth farm, along with the mill and yeah, final sort of point on the map. So yeah, overall, the map is absolutely solid. Highly recommend to download this because it is an absolute beautiful map. Yes, high megawatt, or not megawatt, a megabyte uh, as a file size. 805, but as you can see, as we go around and waffling on for what 45 minutes now, I think almost 40 minutes at least, depending on the editing. Yeah, it's absolute stoner of a map, highly recommended. But yeah, all that will get wrapped up nice and neatly in my final thoughts and conclusion section of the map. But yeah, so we're heading up to the fifth farm. We've got a nice big field over here, so most of these fields are worker friendly. All got like square-ish ends. So on this like this build over here, do you have a slight curve to it? But again, like curves like that, I don't see it being a issue for the workers. Plenty of space to turn around. I may even move out like one tree for this field here if you're playing on this. But yeah, I haven't really test that with the workers, so who knows? So here we are. Let's pull over here, not go <laughs> over into the oh, forest now, as I almost done over there. So yeah, be a fifth farm that. Very simple, got a shed in that farmhouse, so this is apart from the forestry, this is like the simplistic one in the rural area in that. Besides from the forestry which is in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, so how much does that get? I think like 40 grand I think it was. No, 22 grand, that does include all this forestry area, so if you're doing forestry here, you may need like the yarder if you got the platinum DLC in that, because yeah, access is limited, and you do have some very steep hills in that, and also some walker trees like the American elms in that, so it may pose an issue in that. But anyway, it's out of fine production that, so you've got your sawmill, so the number in that can be sold here in that. 
think the spawn area is so yeah. Fill point is just here, and yeah, collect your wood chips from here. And you can sell the logs here, just place them around about here. But yeah, purchase this production for a hundred grand. So yeah, you get your planks and that, so what's that, six thousand? 1200, 7200 logs a month, and that will get you 8,800, 9,600 planks and 2,400 wood chips a month. So, a bit of in there, but quick math in my head. So, yeah, decent throughput on that, I have to say that, to be fair. Especially for the region, not for the map and that, because I doubt you're going to be doing tons and tons of logging. You may do that, again, depends on how you want to play the map, so. Yeah. Overall, that is everything we've covered, so make sure to do a little loop run up here and then, yeah, do the final thoughts and conclusions. So, as you see, over what 40 45 minutes, a little trial on this map towards the B. It's as long as it needs to be, because I want to show you folks everything that, and as you see, as you go around, it's an absolute stunner. That, and I think this is maybe the thumbnail up here, and that so absolute stunner of a map, and that. Custom assets and that, custom map background that, as you can see in that. Just see, everything is customised. So it has that authenticity in that. Still can not pronounce that correctly in that. But yeah, so rating that, it's got to be a 5 out of 5, because it has everything I want as a map. Nice nice fields in that, easy for worker friendly in that, potentially in that. Plenty of farms in that, plenty of options on how you want to play the map in that, because... As we've seen that, you can start with just a double farming that, or you know what, start off just do a bit of logging that, start in the woods and that, cabin in the woods. Or just have a bit of a mixture of the both and that. But yeah, it's got the custom crops and that, custom productions and that, yes, some of them are by set of bookie. But unlike some mappers and that models and that, you do make them require mod, thank you set of bookie for actually implementing them. But yeah, if you do want to purchase the chicken coops and that, they are, yeah, again, purchasable and that, so again, little things like that is what I love these kind of maps and that, not being required in bots and that. But I think besides so, so from that, that's everything I've covered, so yeah, just looking at my notes and that, the second, yeah, gone over everything, no custom audits and that, and I think there's not really much more else to say. As you can see, also there is a no traffic in that, so workers ain't get stuck with the traffic in that. And overall, it's an absolute banger of a map, and just look at that. That is a nice view in that, so something like this could be the thumbnail, I think. Absolute gorgeous of a map in that. Highly recommend it, again, not just because it's so booky in that, but because it is so booky, he uses maps properly now. He takes time now, he does a bit of research in that, and. Again, my praises cannot be more now. I'm not kissing butter or anything like that. I've looked for faults, so yeah, minor from the description of the map. You do get some minor stutteriness, minor frame rate drops in that on last gen at least. But overall, they are, they are livable, they are manageable, doesn't really interfere with the immersion in that. But yeah, got a mixture of contracts in that, huge fields in that, for the area in that. Yeah, it's going to be a huge American map, of course they ain't, this is European. Now for a European map and that, got some huge deals in that, got this like, section over here. So yeah, this can be purchased in that, again, as I mentioned, as I've shown. So, 13 grand for this area over here, plenty of space out to get cracking on with that, so make money from logging, make money from the me thing, that, make money from the productions, or just simple arable farming. It's down to you how you want to play the map. But anyway, so literally I think that is everything that. So as always, hope you found this map more helpful and informative so we should perform. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share so please be my guest. If you're not subscribed channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, we'll be farmer every stream, and I'll see you all very soon.